Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody, and if you're new here, hello and welcome. This is Motor Mike Media, and as always, I'm Motor Mike, and today, well, we're going to do a little review on this car here. If you guys watched my 100th video episode, I told you guys I want to give you guys more and more content. Do detailing videos, and I mentioned I want to do reviews on older cars. Like this, it's one of my uncle's cars, he buys and sells cars, anything you make a buck on. So let's talk about it. We'll start with styling the front end like I normally do. Aggressive. I really like the front end. It's really low. I actually like these headlights. A lot of people call them the catfish uh, headlights. But it's a nice look. Overall, it's a very aggressive, sporty looking vehicle. Now let's go to the side profile. So when you look at the side profile, guys, you can tell that car angles down. It's like a wedge-shaped design. Pretty simple body lines. This was designed in the 90s. But I really like these wheels. They're nice and simple, nothing too aggressive, but this is an SS, which means we have the V8 engine, which is awesome. And when you get the V8 engine, you can see this little uh, hood bulge, the hood scoop, if you will, and it's a convertible. And I'll be honest with you guys, convertibles aren't my thing. Uh, the white top is very different, uh, but like I would get it, I'd probably get a T-top version, a little bit better rigidity, and I think the T-top just looks better in my opinion. Let's go to the rear end. All right, guys, the rear end. It's pretty simple, but I always liked about these Camaros is how they integrated the spoiler in the back. Uh, you can tell the body comes up, the spoiler just goes across. This is a more aggressive spoiler because this is the SS, but I like it. I like how it says Camaro in the back, and you do have dual exhaust at the bottom. This is a nice sports car that more people need to consider. Let's go see the interior. Now when you come up to the Camaro, you get these big long doors, oh, oh, and you open them. They do start to sag after a while, but the door panel, nice and simple. The old GM switch gear. And this is the SS with the leather package. So we have the nice leather bucket seats. You can see that they're pretty heavily bolstered. They're still in pretty decent shape. Then the steering wheel, nice and simple. And look guys, manual transmission. So this is an SS with a manual transmission, which is awesome. You see the gauge cluster, nice and simple. Everything here, the old radios. <laughs> you guys remember these, nice and simple. Now. The overall materials, yes, this is uh, hard plastics and stuff, but these are awesome cheap sports cars, guys. So when you're actually sitting in the vehicle, you can see the nice gauge cluster, nice and simple. This is a leather wrap steering wheel. And this steering wheel, a lot of people complain about it, but I really like it. It feels good in your hands. You have your horn buttons on the sides. Like I said, everything in here is very simple. But you have that manual transmission, guys. These are really fun vehicles that, like I said, more people need to consider. These had over 300 horsepower. Yes, it doesn't seem like a lot today, but manual transmissions are so much fun. If you look above, you got the shift pattern right there. This is a convertible, so you have the convertible top. And if you actually want to use this, latch right here, latch right there, and that just helps you bring it up there. Nice and simple. Overall, yes, this interior wouldn't stand up to today's standards, but it's still pretty nice. All right, guys, so when you pop the hood, you have an old-fashioned V8 engine. These are awesome engines, guys, super reliable. In this configuration, it makes 320 horsepower and about 335 pound-feet of torque. Good numbers. Back in the day, this was quicker than a Mustang. You had more horsepower, more torque. A lot of fun. And like I said, there's lots of aftermarket support for these. You can add way more horsepower to these. You can even just make them just sound nice, add an exhaust kit, because these engines sound so good when they can breathe. People turn these into drift cars, they turn them into drag cars. The possibilities are truly endless, guys. These are great engines, and we should consider buying these. These are great sports cars. All right, guys, so that's the Camaro SS convertible. So my uncle's actually on his way right now to take this and take it to his mechanic. It needs a few things sorted first, but hopefully when it comes back, we'll have nicer weather. <laughs> right now it's uh, in the 30s, but it's sunny out, and we'll take it out on the road, get it on the highway, listen to this V8 engine soar. But he's actually bringing something else here that we'll do a nice review on. So it'll be cool. This will be a new little segment we do, doing some uh, Vinny car reviews. Some old cars, whether they be sports cars or just weird and quirky cars. But please, guys, if you haven't already and you want to, check out my channel. I keep trying to give you guys more and more content. I tell cars, trucks, crossovers, and SUVs, combustion engines, just like this good old V8, and EVs, a little bit of everything. But please, like comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you guys can stay up to date with the latest and greatest for my channel. And if you want to support me in a more personal way, I've got a Patreon. A couple different tiers, you guys can get early access to some of my videos. It helps me and the channel grow. And I really, really appreciate everyone who ever watches. And I'll see you all in the next one.